Well, guys, look what I've got. Something new for my machine. Let's open it up and have a look. What is it? What is it? Oh, shiny. It's a new race brake mask cylinder for my track bike. So, new mask cylinder. Uh, made in Italy. If anything, it's probably made for my Aprilia, but it's actually going on my Suzuki. Okay, so I'm going to change this brake mask cylinder. This has been crap. It's been inconsistent. There were times where this lever was close to the bar and sometimes it's way out there. So it's totally inconsistent. Got a new one. This is a race spec one. It's got number 18 on there, which means that the travel on it is 18 millimeters. Uh, the road version is 20, which means it's got slightly more travel. Uh, this one's going to feel pretty hard. Hopefully, hopefully it's going to cross those fingers. There are arthritis in there, but it'll be okay. I'll just still cross them some more. There we go. Hopefully they'll be good. Um, Aquasato, it's the Italian company that made these. So I'm gonna try it and see how I get on with it. Now, during this replacement, do not want to get any of that brake fluid on the paintwork. Otherwise, I'll just peel it off. So I'm gonna get a load of rags in here, just to try and prevent that. Uh, I'm gonna clamp off this brake hose, try and keep some of the fluid in the reservoir, because it is new fluid. Uh, undo the bottom hoses, let some of that drain out, whatever's left in the hose, and then swap it over.
So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to use a screwdriver, just gently push the, the pads back. What will happen is it'll push the pistons and all the excess fluid that's in here will go backwards, back to the reservoir. Now air rises, so we know that the air is already at the top. So all we're trying to do is push the air back into the reservoir and that way you'll bleed it without having to undo any of these unions. See the bubbles coming back into the reservoir. So I'm going to do the same on the other side and see how much more air we can get back. Okay, both sets of calipers. The pads have been pushed back, you can see the reservoir is filled up. As I mentioned, this bleed screw was here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo this and let the weight of the fluid just bleed whatever's left in here. Pads back. See the fluid going down. Okay, I'm going to push the pads back again. So I used my uh, proper wind back tool to wind those pads back. I went back and forth a few times. There was a little bit of air in here, I've bled that out. And I've got a really nice lever now. So we'll see how that fares on the track. Um, I just need to tighten these bolts up. There was a little sticker on here saying 8 to 10 newton meters. So at least have an idea of torque settings. Um, but I need to get it out of here and so I can sit on it properly and see if I can get that adjusted to where I need it. Um, need to top up brake fluid. Um, I tend to use DOT 5.1 because I do a lot of track days. It's a higher boiling point, so less issues if I overheat my brakes. Well, I'm at Castle Coombe today. I've had a pretty good day. Brought both my bikes in. Did about 20 miles in this and it started to flash up on the dashboard overheating so that was the end of that for today uh, no damage this doesn't seem to be any coolant leaks chain where i showed you where i do them slightly tight ideal now it beds in very quickly saves me having to adjust it again uh, front brake was a dream this was an absolutely brilliant lever uh, consistent all the time some of the guys are still out there playing. Well, I hope you liked the video. This is Suzuki's GSXR600, where I did the chain in a fast cylinder. If you like videos like this, well, actually, if you look at my channel, you see there's a video on that uh, Aprilia as well, that's serviced it recently. Um, please subscribe, hit the like button and the bell notifications so you're notified next time I upload a video. Take care, guys.